guys, uh, Lyndon here. Uh, I'm going to show you a little do-it-yourself uh, trick that you can do at home with your uh, lens hood. And that is to create a anamorphic lens flare. Now notice I say flare and not an anamorphic lens because there are more aspects to a anamorphic lens than its ability to create wonderful flares. This right here, lens hood, that you can buy pretty much uh, anywhere really that sells um, camera equipment or accessories. What I did here is I drilled two holes, I don't know, right there, and there's actually four holes, so there's one, two, and three and four. I tied um, clear nylon thread or string that you can pretty much buy at Walmart or any outdoor rec store and that sell fishing line because that's pretty much what it is. It's, it's nylon, clear nylon fishing line. And uh, I just pretty much tied a line going down. So when you attach this hood onto your camera lens, now the camera lens, from what I'm told, it only works for prime lenses. So uh, 50 and up pretty much. I don't know about 30, because um, I don't ha I don't own a 30, so I don't know if it would work. Um, maybe you guys can try it and see if it works. But right now I'm using a Canon 50 millimeter, uh, 1.8, and it seems to work well with this. So pretty much what you do is you would attach this onto your camera uh, with the line, the fishing line, vertical. Um, later on I'll show you uh, what happens if you don't have it vertical? So pretty much you put this on vertical. I'll attach it and show you some shots. Alright, so let me focus here. Um, so I, I, I already attached the lens hood. But here in my hand is a LED uh, flashlight pretty much. And this is, what, this is the effect you get from uh, doing that simple do-it-yourself project. Look at that. It's an anamorphic lens flare without the anamorphic lens. Very, very cool. Let's focus here. Focus, focus. So, very nice effect for the costs, you know? And we all know that uh, anamorphic lenses, they cost anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000 or even more. Also, you can do the same effect with, you know, post-production, like uh, editing software, like After Effects, you know, and their third-party plugins, which, you know, you usually have to pay uh, anywhere from $60 to $500, you know, uh, just to get this effect. And... It's not very easy to do because then you have to learn how to do track motion and, you know, so there's some programs where it's very easy to do that. You know, it's user friendly, but there are some that are not. And you could simply do the same effect with a lens hood, which is about, you know, four dollars and um, 0 0.029 gauge uh, fishing line. And then just a matter of attaching it to your lens hood, and now you have an anamorphic lens flare. Um, I haven't used this out in broad daylight, so I don't know what would happen. Um, I'm sure everything might get blown up or something. Um, but for for the cost and for what it does, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so like I was saying, uh, this is what would happen if the thread or the string was not vertical. You would get this effect. So um, if it was horizontal, you would get a vertical streak. So it's pretty much opposite from what you would think would happen. Um, that's pretty nice. You could do some effects like that, you know? Pretty cool. 
yeah, I hope this is uh, very helpful and you could use it for future projects.